Hi, my name is Julie Morris and I'm from Laguna Hills, California. I am submitting a book proposal for Two Family Trees, A Story of Adoption, Loving the Family That Raised You and the Family That Gave You Away. People think that adoption is a wonderful event in the life of a family, and it is. But it's also a deep emotional roller coaster ride for those of us who are adopted or who have adopted a child. I am both, so I have two stories to tell. I was adopted at one day old, and at one day old, my husband and I adopted our daughter. Having experienced both sides of adoption makes for an interesting life. My adoption was closed, and I learned as a child that I would never find my biological family. I rode that roller coaster of self-doubt while I was trying to find my identity. My daughter's adoption was open, and it made us happy to let her birth mom watch her child growing up. We had no fear about this, and it was the right thing to do. I considered both of these adoption events to be miracles in my life, but I was not done experiencing miracles. A few years ago, through a series of coincidences, I found my biological family. Two full biological sisters with the same birth mother and father. I never knew that they existed and they never knew about me. Two of us were given up for adoption and one sister was raised by our birth parents, giving me a chance to see what my life would have been like through her eyes. The three of us have come to know each other so well and we are all part of each other's family trees. Many adoptees all over the world need guidance about searching for their birth families and birth families need guidance on acceptance. You can belong to two family trees and everyone involved can find harmony. This book is for more than just me and my family story. It is for all adoptees and those who love them. It is for biological families too and how to navigate the complex feelings of adoption. It is a guidebook for what can happen when you put your DNA sample out into the world. It's about looking, about being found, and what to do next. The process of this book proposal inspired me to start a podcast called The Secret Club of Adoption. It is a space for adoptees to tell their stories. I call it a secret club because when an adopted person find out that they've met another person who's adopted, their relationship changes in an instant because each knows the feelings of the other. They have just entered a secret place, a secret club, and it's a good place for adoptees to be together. Although my podcast is very new, I've had a chance to peek into the lives of adoptees from all walks of life, and I've learned that there is both pain and optimism in their life histories. The people I've interviewed are so happy to be asked to share their stories. I like to ask my friends and acquaintances, do you know anyone who's adopted? Most people say that they don't, but we are all around you. You just don't know our story yet. My daughter has asked for an Ancestry DNA kit for Christmas this year. I bought her one, but it comes with a discussion on the consequences of putting your DNA out into the world. She knows her birth mom, but she has no information on her birth father and likely never will. What she finds may be amazing or heartbreaking, or it may be nothing at all, but we are all hoping for the outcome she desires. Anyone who's adopted wants to know where we came from and if we have similar traits, whether physical or mental, that we share with people from our DNA. We want to know who we are and who we might have been in our lives. In this day and age, DNA brings us closer to finding out the beginnings of a life we never got to live. My book, Two Family Trees, addresses the joys and heartaches of adoption but also gives us a roadmap to a life of acceptance and fulfillment. If I hadn't found Hay House by accident, I would not have written this story or learned how to help others. Thank you to Reed Tracy, who said one small comment to me on a webinar that started my journey. Thank you to Kelly Noteras, who aligned me with a great editor. And thank you, whoever you are, for reviewing my submission.